Welcome back, my friends, to the Predicted Playbook. I'm your host, John Ryan. This is a Major League Baseball quick hitting show. And we're going to talk about the Phillies who are traveling up to the Bronx to take on the Yankees in a two game set, which is a sandwich uh, series of two games between Boston for the Yankees. In other words, they just got done taking two of three uh, from Boston. You may remember that Thursday they had their game canceled because of COVID situations on the Yankees roster, including Aaron Judge and others. And after this two-game set, they have to go to Fenway and take on Boston for three more games. So it is a very interesting time for the Yankees right now. They, they basically need to win four of the next five. Uh, as you'll see, I don't think they're going to win tonight, and that makes it even more difficult, especially if Boston starts bouncing back after having lost four or five for only the second time this season. They, their losing streaks have been very short-lived, and they're followed by some really excellent baseball. So you might want to take a look at Boston as well as a, as a possible bet here over the next week in their games that they're going to be playing. So in this betting system, we have a matchup here where the hottest team in the National League right now is the Philadelphia Phillies, 10-4 and four over the last 14 games. They have won the last four series in a row. And I honestly would not be surprised if they won both of these games, even though it's in the Bronx. We have Aaron Noah, who is really a tough luck pitcher. I, a lot of the uh, media is, is suggesting that there's something uh, wrong with him. He's not consistent. And yes, recently he has had some erratic starts uh, where he actually pitched a gem against the Yankees on June 13th, going seven and two thirds innings, allowing three hits, no earned runs, one walk nine strikeouts against the very aggressive hitting New York Yankees who rank in the bottom 10 of Major League Baseball in strikeout rate and expected batting average, for example. They just do not get runners that are on base to touch home plate. And it's been an epidemic for them for, for several months now, since the middle of May. And I think they're going to continue to struggle. They're very, very aggressive at the plate. Aaron Noah has one of the best Swing and miss rates uh, on his curveball in the last 10 years. Only Clayton Kershaw, who we know has a famous legendary curveball that he throws in different angles and 12-6 12 six, 12 six movements, much like Aaron Noah has started to do as well. So I, I think we're going to see more of the same uh, from Aaron Noah tonight against this Yankees team that is not patient at the plate. And when your team is not patient at the plate, it's nearly impossible to slow that down and take strike one because what what's Noel going to do? He's going to throw first pitch strike. And by the way, that's one of my emails at iCloud.com. First pitch strike, one of my favorite baseball terms of all time. And uh, there is no better pitch in baseball than strike one. And the reason that is, is that even for the greatest hitters in the league, their batting average after 01 drops anywhere between 55 and 75 basis points. So you take a 300 hitter, Throw strike one, and now he's a 225 hitter. So the Yankees are really in a tough spot. They can't stand there and take first pitch because Noah's just going to pepper that plate every single time. I would expect him to have a very high first pitch strike rate tonight along the lines of you know 20 out of 24, for example. And uh, that will definitely put the, the Yankees in a, in a bit of a trouble to connect hits together to get runners on base and, and have RBI opportunities. So, you know, the Phillies offense is now coming together. They're they're starting to really play well. They're actually hitting behind runners now, and it just seems like they have a, a new breath of life on the team. They're only two and a half games behind the Mets, who are now without DeGrom. And, uh, yeah, who's to say they, they can't win the division? And that will be talked about later today on Manny's Irish Pub. It starts at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time every day, Monday through Friday. And includes my co-hosts, Tony Finn and Rob Vino, Wager Talk. And then many others. Tony Mejia will be joining us today. Possibly Steve Merrill. I will be having a show on Bitcoin uh, starting a little bit after 2.30 today. Uh, going over the Bitcoin markets and the S&P 500, which Steve and I have done now for about the last two months. So I encourage you to watch that show as well. And as you can see, before I show the system, I don't want to forget this. You can get tonight's NBA Best bet, it's a four-unit play, it includes a four-unit total as well for just 
over at sportsmemo.com right now. And you would just simply go to sportsmemo.com and hit experts in the navigation bar. Look for me, click that, and you'll see this special deal. Or the easier way is to type in your browser, sm, as in sportsmemo.buzz, slash jr. That will take you to the profile. You use the promo code that is featured in what is scrolling on the bottom here. Um, that is uh, using the, there it is, using the viewer only promo code daily, the dollar sign five. So daily five hours. And only you people that are supporting these shows today are given this opportunity. So take advantage of it. It's not a widely publicized deal. I want you guys to be rewarded to get on the picks. After all, I've hit 67% the last four NBA playoff seasons. Our totals have been, you know, scorching hot. And here's some of my hot streaks. 71.4 the last 14, uh, 75%, 3-1, and one, Major League Baseball five-unit best bets, and on we go. Uh, football season is coming up as well. We're going to have a, a really good deal for that. I was number one last year, hitting 65.8% against the spread in the NFL, ripped off. 83% winners, I kid you not, 83% winners against the spread over the last 21 NFL releases and 73% over the last 35 college football and NFL plays together um, in a combined manner. So we're going to put together some great opportunities for everybody to get on board for this upcoming NFL and college football season, which I cannot wait. Uh, I've been working very hard already for the past six weeks. On the NFL and college football, I'm going to start doing more shows on those two sports. So you can look forward to those as well. But for today, do me a favor. Do us a favor. It's a win-win situation here. You're getting 5 bucks off an $11 cost play, which is already reduced from $20. But I want you guys to benefit, so take advantage of it. And uh, let's see what happens tonight in Game 6. Um, so the betting system here. And I think we have a comment here from uh, Alex Vale. Yeah, good morning, Alex. Actually, here in the East Coast, we're just a little bit after lunchtime, and uh, that's you know about 1.15, so all, all is good. So thank you, Alex. Big shout-out to him. He was one of my first, uh, I think he was one of the first 50 followers I ever had, which I started uh, a couple years ago, right before the, the pandemic, unfortunately. Uh, so it's been like a year and a half since I started this uh, Twitter feed. And uh, providing the information like I have, and I'm, you know, I'm grateful that I'm coming up on 3,500. And uh, you know, it's hard to remember 3,500, but I always remember Alex. He was so supportive in the very beginning when it was very, very tough to even get people to, you know, get three likes on a on a show or three likes on a tweet. And Alex was one of the guys that helped make that happen. So you know, there's uh, a group of those guys that I will never forget. Um, you know, no matter how no matter where this ends, you know, if we get 10,000, that's great. If we get to 20, you know, I'm just very happy I'm providing some information that people obviously like or they wouldn't be following. I guess that's how I'm looking at it. But big shout out to Alex again. So uh, here's our betting angle. We're going to bet the run line with a team facing an opponent that they have already defeated in the past two matchups. Phillies have won the last two against the Yankees. And as I said to reiterate, Noel threw seven and two-thirds innings of three-hit baseball, no earned runs, nine Ks against the Yankees. And that curveball, when he stays on top of it, and I can explain what that means at the 4 o'clock show with Manny's Irish Pub Bet, I'll actually have a baseball in my hand, and I can show you actually what that is. Hey, Max on record. Hey, there he is in the chat room too, man. Of course. Of course you're great. And I love the, all the comments about Meathead. And... Uh, you know, this afternoon, Manny's Irish Pub, I want you to put in a a word on why you nicknamed him Meathead, because I think that is a kind of a popular uh, name among the, the people who are not too fond of him. And, you know, I'll, I'll mention that later. This is a Major League Baseball show. But the fact that he called out his manufacturer because of his poor play, uh, especially with the driver, the first two days was beyond reason. And I actually was glad that the manufacturer lashed back at him. You know, and I always say it's not it's not the driver, it's the, it's not the car, it's the driver. It's not the the bowling ball, it's the thrower. You know, it, it it's not the equipment. I've never in my life blamed a poor performance in golf 
because of my irons or my putter. I've had three putters my entire life, and I've played golf for over 40 years. And guys change uh, putters, you know, once every week, some of them. You know, and I don't see the point. You know, you got to get the stroke down, fundamentals down, and then you can play. So anyway, Max on record, thanks for uh, distracting me there a little bit. That was good. It's a good distraction. So back to the betting system here. We're going to um, bet on teams that have winning records that are facing each other. And the one team, this being the Phillies, has won at least the last two matchups uh, against the opponent. So that's gone 50 and 25 for, that's supposed to say, 67% winning bets over the last five seasons. The $100 better has made a $2,755 profit and a terrific 52% ROI. And for his career, Nola's team record is 24-10 and 10 against teams that average no more than 2.75 extra base hits per game. This all adds up to a significant play on the Phillies using the minus 1.5 run line and getting a return of plus 125 VIG. So we're taking our road team. I know Tony Finn of Wager Talk this afternoon will love this betting system because he never takes a minus one and a half run line play on a home team. And uh, you can join us to find out more about that because that is a very good piece of advice once you hear the reasons why. This is a road slight favorite, and now we're doing minus one and a half, getting plus 125. I love it. And... uh, I hope you do too. So thanks guys for coming into the uh, the show. We appreciate all the support. Max on record, Alex Vail. We'll see you both at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time for Manny's Irish Pub. But before that, I'm going to have uh, Steve Merrill on at about 2.40. I will start the show about 2.35 Eastern Standard Time to talk about the current Bitcoin market and uh, our trading ideas. I was a trader on uh, Wall Street for more than two decades and there's a lot of similarities between sports betting and the financial markets. And that, that's the whole purpose of the show is that we're trying to uh, connect the two and show how similar the two are, uh, especially with, uh, with metrics that are related to sentiment. You, know, you get too many bulls, the market corrects. You get too many people betting the same team, what happens? That other team shocks the world and, uh, and wins outright. And, you know, we see that in the NFL quite a bit. It's not a reason to you know bet a game by itself, but it is part of my my arsenal of tools that I use. And uh, and thanks to Twitter, I can go through 2,500 tweets and record and retrieve, scrape, whatever you want to call it, uh, the actual tweet. And then using stop words, which is a package that I received from MIT, there's uh, 10,000 stop words that are of potential use when doing a sentiment program in Python. So uh, it's pretty exciting stuff. I'm going to actually show the Python tool on the 4 o'clock show for tonight's game six and see where the betting community lies with that type of, uh, with that type of betting um, flow for tonight's game. So uh, for, again, thanks guys for being in the... Uh, the chat room, Max on record is bringing uh, pints, he says here in the chat room, which I, I he's my best friend right now. Um, but I'm known as Two Beer Johnny, so take that for a grain of salt, I guess. You know, I, I'd like to think I'm a, you know, I can handle my uh, my alcohol pretty well, but there's a reason why they call me Two Beer Johnny at the club. And uh, quite honestly, it's because I want to, I don't ever want to have to uh, face a cop pulling me over and I'm you know, one-tenth over the legal limit. It just scares the daylights out of me. But anyway, uh, take that advice too. You know, there's there's nothing worse than, you know, getting uh, some kind of situation like that. It's just nothing in the world is worth that. So on behalf of uh, wagertalk.com, sportsmemo.com, the chat room especially here, we're getting them riled up. And predictive playbook. May all the wins be yours. <laughs>